For my doctorate, I had to spend many years studying muntjac deer in their natural woodland habitat. Day and night, I sucked the numbers out of my woodland study site, much like a machine, recording them in my notebooks for analysis later in the university's computers. I became a detached observer, remote, as if looking down from on high. The inspiration that had taken me into science in the first place was drying up, and I began to live in a world of abstraction, of quantities. But there were also times when I put down my notebooks and just leant against a tree. As I looked up into the green world of the canopy, I became conscious of a different and deeper way of knowing the wood. A way of knowing that I had totally forgotten when I was just collecting data. In these moments, I connected with a powerful sense of the wood as a whole being in its own right with its own moods, its own intelligence, in short, with its own qualities. And I felt a similar intuitive sense of oneness with the deer. As I watched them, a gentle feeling of calmness enveloped me, and that intuitive connection has inspired me down the years. Could it be that I had within me two ways of relating to nature? The first, a numerical mind, which extracted quantities and data from the wood. And a second, an intuitive mind, that connected me with the qualities of the wood, bringing with it a deep sense of meaning and a connection with the entire breathing earth. <laughs> 